Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use turbulent displacement in conjunction with the rotor brush. Click the subscribe button and enable the notification with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. This is the video we're going to work with. I'm going to create a duplicate of the video and then replace with After Effect composition. I'm going to name this project Rotor Brush. Yep. And uh, here we are into After Effect. We're going to pick the Rotor Brush, double click on the screen, and we're going to drag the Rotor Brush around the edges of the model. It's roughly around the edges. This is going to tell After Effects what we want to cut out from the scene. And as you can see, After Effects did a good job. Uh, it's already well done. And now I'm going to hit the space bar and I'm going to start the roto brush tracking, if you can call it like that. So basically After Effects is going frame by frame and it's trying to isolate the object that was previously selected from the roto brush. Now it might be a long process or a, a very long process. It depends on the power of uh, your, your computer. I'm going to speed up this one and here you are. After Effect is done and uh, I think it did a pretty good job. I'm going to zoom in to see the edges and uh, yeah, it, it did, it did indeed, yeah, it did a very good job. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So we need to smoothen a little bit the edges and uh, for that we're going to go to the effect controls. I'm going to select the transparency background, then I'm going to zoom in again. And now I'm going to play with the roto brush mat. So feather wise, I think I'm just trying to see where it looks better and uh, I think this is fine. And then we can play around with the contrast, the shift edge, reduce chatter and all these uh, parameters. I think I'm going to leave the reduce chatter there and again, I'm happy with that. Right here, it's a little bit dirty, the selection. As you can see, After Effect didn't really isolate um, the model here. And we could go in with the Roto Brush Refine Edges, but for the sake of this tutorial, again, I'm happy with what After Effect did. All right, so back to the video. It's now time to apply the effect. So Effects and Preset, Turbulent Displace, and I'm going to drag that on the model. Select the video, go into the Effect Controls panel. I'm going to change the displacement to Horizontal Displacement. Uh, I think size-wise, I might like it. Yeah, like this, I like it. It gives that electrified effect. Right, so amount back to zero, size 11, I'm happy with that. Stopwatch, stopwatch on a value evolution as well. Then I'm gonna go forward a couple of frames and I'm going to change the values for amount and evolution. And actually, I'm going to put amount, let's say right about there, evolution, 10 times evolution. And this evolution parameter, by the way, is going to create some uh, dynamism. So it's going to look like the displacement. It's a dynamic effect. I think I'm going to go forward and add a bunch of keyframes with some other values. 450 is fine. Yep. And then I'm going to go back to zero. I'm going to switch to the graph editor one second so you can see what's happening there. These are these are the values and uh, the curves connecting all the values, all the keyframes. So this is what's happening in time. Right, happy with that. I'm going to select the keyframes and then right click. And uh, easy is. So this is going to make the transition from one keyframe to the other smoother. As you can see here now, it's much better. That's all in After Effect. So I'm going to save the project and uh, go back to Premiere Pro. And uh, here in Premiere Pro, you can see we have now the previous video has been replaced with an After Effect composition. Now this After Effect composition is the model. It's the model without the background. 
And that is why we duplicated the original layer because we want to keep the background. Now I'm going to scale up just a little bit the model because this effect might reveal the model underneath in the, in the original footage. And then, and then I'm going to, I'm going to have a preview. And it looks like this. Right. So with that said, I'm going to go an extra step forward. I'm going to nest the original video and the After Effects composition in Rotobrush nested. Uh, and that is because I want to throw a couple of effects on that. Uh, first of all, I want to correct the auto balance and I have this fantastic crumple pop auto white balance plugin. You just drop in on a footage and it does a automatic correction. 99% of the time it's a very good correction. It's very accurate. Uh, I also want to go inside the nested uh, sequence and I want to throw a lumetric color on the background. And that is because I want to underexpose just a little bit the background. Let's say like so. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Again, I don't want this effect to look um, totally unrealistic. I'm gonna play with the bad. I'm gonna play with the blacks. I'm gonna play with the highlights as well. I'm gonna close the nested sequence. Back to the original sequence. And uh, I'm gonna drop another Lumetric on the original sequence. And that is because I wanna play around with exposure, highlights, and blacks. So. I'm going to lower down the exposure a little bit and I'm going to create an elliptical mask in After Effects and I'm going to position the elliptical mask around uh, on the model and again it's not super precise it's it's a rough uh, mask now I want to lower down even more the background so I need to invert the mask first and then increase the feather a little bit, let's say 60 is okay, and then mask expansion negative 50, 40, yeah, that's okay, looking good. Now back to the exposure and like 0.8, negative 0.87, yeah, that should be good. And uh, I'm doing this because, and this is giving that wrapping light effect that is making it even more realistic. And there you have it. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe so you can stay updated with all the new videos. See you next time and thanks for watching.